fossils of diverse chordates are known in the early Cambrian, and it seems that fossil evidence suggests their existence at the end of the Precambrian as well. By this point, then, the ancestors of humans would have evolved the features which we observe in, in chordates, which would be a notochord, a primitive support rod, uh, the types of gills which modern fish have, so a pharynx with slits, the uh, post-anal tail in that the digestive system does not stretch the length of the body, a hollow nervous system on the back, and a heart which is located on uh, the front or more ventrally, homologs of the liver, the pituitary gland, Although chordates do not have the vertebrate eye or ear, they do have sensory systems, an eye spot and a gravity sensing organ, which express some of the same genes. So it seems that homologous uh, structures had developed uh, by this point. As these chordates became more fish-like, they evolved a number of additional features, such as a corpus luteum in the reproductive system, junctions between epidermal cells, cartilage-like tissues, four segments of uh, the brain, uh, so the brain of these tiny chordates and of the more advanced vertebrates can be divided into the same four major regions. Some of the cranial nerves are homologous between modern uh, chordates and vertebrates. Myotomes in muscle, a hepatic portal uh, system to transport blood from the GI tract to the liver before it returns to the heart. Uh, the trapezius muscle uh, seems to have arisen uh, prior to uh, the first fish. Uh, the hypothalamus in the brain, the pineal gland, the thyroid gland, insulin-like uh, proteins, podocytes uh, for the excretory system. All of these are traits which seem to have evolved uh, in these early chordates, and we assume this because of studies which we can do of the modern uh, primitive chordates. Somewhere in chordate history, a genome duplication occurred. Uh, these things happen, a genetic accident where the uh, chromosome number is doubled because chromosomes don't separate properly. It seems as if as chordates evolved into fish, there was such an accident where the early fish then had double the number of genes as their ancestral chordates because of such an accident. The first fish of the early Cambrian are very primitive. They are only an inch or two long. They lack bone, jaws, and paired fins. However, over tens of millions of years, these jawless fish of the Cambrian evolved a number of traits uh, which would be important for the higher vertebrates which would come later. The size of their brain increased, uh, and this included uh, the formation of cerebral hemispheres, and a more prominent cerebellum. The first fish apparently lacked cerebellum, a cerebellum, as does the uh, modern hagfish. They evolved uh, the modern olfactory system, a semicircular canal, some features of the autonomic nervous system, and some of the same tastes which we as humans uh, possess. The heart evolved three separate uh, chambers. Uh, there evolved a pancreas, a gallbladder, nephrons uh, for the excretory uh, system. Uh, later jawless fish evolved the beginnings of vertebrae, small pieces of cartilage over the notochord. By the end of the Cambrian, bone tissue uh, was uh, present. And so these jawless fish over tens of millions of years in the Cambrian period evolved a number of features which would be important for the jawed fish which would come later.